Hey guys, what is up? It's Skullflag44 here, back with some Minecraft Let's Play action. Um, I just had a weird thing with my keyboard where it just stopped working. and uh, But now it seems, everything seems to be good now. So, looks like we're going to be doing some mining, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh yeah, so, I just decided to take like a break from YouTube. <clears throat> just because, I don't know, I wasn't really, <clears throat> wasn't really into doing like the, I don't know, I just need, need to kind of find something different for my channel right now. Um, I still like my like, Minecraft Let's Play videos, but um, the rest, like texture pack reviews, I think those are fun, yeah, those are helpful, but like the City of Tweak reviews aren't, I don't know, I'm kind of done with those, unless I can transition it to something else, like, I don't know, um, we'll see, it all kind of depends what I'm in the mood for, I might actually do some City of Tweak reviews today, um, just get a whole bu 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 bunch of them done, um, like the stutter effect there. Um, so here, yeah, we're going to be expanding that thing, right? Um, still don't know how this is going to work at all, but it definitely needs to be expanded, so. That. Ooh, that looks sweet right there. Alright. So that means more mining, which will help get more minerals. Woo, not that I really need any, but. Yeah, so I would speed this up, like my mining part, but I don't really feel like doing that, so I'm just going to be talking to you guys, and hopefully, if, no, well, if we, if we just need cobblestone, then finding a cave isn't all that good, but if I find a cave, I'll explore it, I guess. Kill that squid. Alright, so here's the level I was on before. And I dug all the way that way, so let's just try this way, I guess. Is that three? Yeah. Just between, okay. Okay, apparently my shift, my keyboard is just messing up right now. It's alright. That wasn't too painful. There we go. Alright, so now we're just gonna dig, dig away. Oh, dang. Uh oh, okay, so we have, still have lots of flint. Okay, I guess I'll just get as far as I can, then I'll go back. Oh, uh oh. That means magma, that's gonna be a problem. How to deal with this? So, I don't really need to deal with it, but it's pretty interesting, I think. Oh. Some lapis. Not really sure what it is, but this looks interesting. Iron, I think. Don't know, but it makes me want to grab it, that's for sure. Huh, so it's just a lava pit. Alright. Digging around to see if there's any diamond or anything. Because a lot of the time there is. Probably not this time, though. Oh yeah, so I guess one thing I can talk about, this will be just the main topic of this Let's Play episode, is the perfect game that I watched yesterday. Alright, okay, this will work perfectly actually, because I was thinking about doing some sort of, I want some sort of remembrance for it, and um, I didn't really have a topic for this video. Well, I have lots of topics, but I didn't really have like a main one, you know? Um, and this video that kind of needs, you know, topics, so I'm just mining random stuff. Um, so I'll talk about the perfect game that I got to watch yesterday. So if you don't know, a perfect game is when a pitcher... Okay, so I need to drop... Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I need to go over here. 
Perfect game is when a pitcher doesn't allow any runs, or not any runs, any hits, any walks, any, well, that's weird, um, anything whatsoever. Um, so no one gets on base. So kind of the story behind this is my mom has a friend that was in town um, that knows Robin Ventura really well. And he is the White Sox for, or the manager for the White Sox, the White Sox for the manager. Um, <laughs> Actually, you could have a White Sox for a manager. It just you'd be the Sox, the manager, which wouldn't be good at all. Um, and so, yeah, he was a former player, and then he was out of baseball for a while, and then they invited him back on with, like, zero managerial experience, which I think, I, I like that idea, because that's how you're going to get the good, like, gems of, you know, managing. Like, any manager that you hire now, like mm, Eric Wedge, who's been around a few times, He's probably not the greatest manager ever. Like, I'm not saying he's terrible. Well, I think Eric Wedge is terrible, but I'm not saying that manager is always going to be terrible, but mm, he's not going to be amazing. Um, oh, do I have... Jeez. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, do I need more chests of some sort? Just dump all this... Oh stuff in here doesn't matter Ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh. all right I'm gonna need more torches I can make some torches right now and I'm gonna need some more super all right so let's didn't really need to come up here to make torches, but that's alright. Perfect. Do we have... Oh. There you go. That'll work. I'll take all this out. Alright, so my mom knows Robin Ventura through a friend, whatever. Um, and she offered, you know tickets for get for the game because managers and players and stuff can get free tickets to the game um, for like friends and family and stuff and so my mom was like do you you know you, you want to go to the game or whatever I'm like oh yeah like that sounds great free tickets to a baseball game you know sunny day um, you know all that jazz sure you know I wasn't expecting anything like a perfect game to witness but I was like hey that'll be fun and we didn't really know what our seats were gonna be like because we I'd never got tickets through a player or manager before. Um, so we kind of went into it like, you know, we'll see what it is, but this will be interesting anyway. Um, and so I invited Mr. Conrad. Um, he's a fun guy to watch baseball with. He's into baseball too. And um, yeah, we watched the opening day game together. He invited me there. And so I thought it would be fun to, you know, see this one together or whatever. Um, okay, this is terrible. Oh, gosh. Um. What the heck happened here? Is this from an episode I don't remember at all? Creeper, maybe? How would that... Is that coal at some point? I don't know. Um, and so I invited him. He's like, yeah, that'd be great. So anyway, we go to the game, and we get our tickets. Um, and they happen to be Terrace Club tickets, which are like...
like the first you know three innings you kind of like notice it like oh you know we haven't gotten hit yet or whatever but you're not thinking this is going to be a perfect game then the end of the fifth inning i'm like whoa hey he still has a no hitter going on you know whatever and then i realize hey he still has a perfect game going on and that's when you kind of start looking at it like hey he's he's got a shot to do this right now um because the mariners lineup just couldn't do anything against him um they did have a few hard hit balls where it was like that was a pretty nice defensive play um, they could have dropped down for a hit or, you know, anything pretty easily. That's the one part about, like, a perfect game or a no-hitter that's kind of cool. Um, other, other than, like, you know, he got 15 strikeouts. You know, 15 strikeouts, that's nice, but only the pitcher. That's, you know, that's pretty much only the pitcher. Maybe the catcher gets the benefit, too, because he's telling the pitcher where to throw and, you know, what pitch to throw, whatever. Um, but this one, you know, you have, your whole defense has to be prepared and can't make any mistakes for a perfect game. And so you get you get through like you know seven and then we're like oh man eight outs left and everyone's at this point everyone's pretty much rooting for the perfect game um, because there's only been twenty in history at this point out of like you know five hundred thousand ish baseball games which is just insane you know the chance of witnessing one live is just ridiculous um, and so it's just you know crazy or whatever um, and at end of seven like or going to the seventh I'm starting to root for a perfect game but everyone's you know like. Okay, there's been perfect games broken up in the seventh before. You know that's nothing crazy. Like that's you know it's still like wow, we got a perfect game in the seventh. You know, nice work, or whatever. But it you know it can be broken up. But then he you know gets through that, um, and then he goes into the eighth and he just you know dominates him into the eighth and into the ninth. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you know standing up, we we might be able to see a perfect game here. Blah 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 blah. Um, and then on the first batter, he goes three zero to him, which. Um, there's takes four balls to get a walk, which would ruin the perfect game. I mean, he still could have a no hitter, um, which if he walked the guy, I bet he still would have a no hitter. Um, but to lose the perfect game in the ninth, it would just not be as you know cool. Um, and no hitters, they have happen, you know, oh, a diamond um, through the course of the year. Um, they're still like, wow, you got a no hitter. That's you know pretty exciting, great job, or whatever. But it's not perfect game status. Um, and then so he throws out three O's, and but he gets him to I think strike out. Uh, and then the next guy, John Jaso, um, goes in. He gets a pop up, um, which actually like it. It's a ball that could have been hit harder. Um, and then Brendan Ryan, um, it's three two. He fouls one off, I think, and then he does a check swing, and because um, the ball was it was a ball, it was a you know three two count. So one ball and you know the perfect game's gone. Um, and he thinks he hold, holds up, which I do too. Um, and then. The umpire, you know, says he went, and then they throw him out at first, and he's he's done. So it's just crazy, crazy game. You know, Philip Humber drops on his knees, and you know, just you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I just threw a perfect game or whatever. Um, and he's a guy that's you know, he's been waived a few times. Like he's he was the third overall pick in the draft, but he hasn't been like you know, you know, people making huge you know money from this or whatever. So that's the perfect game story. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I still have my ticket and everything. I think that's pretty sweet that. Everything just happened to line up on that day to go watch a perfect game. It's pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.